Okay, here I have uh, the second side all prepared with all the leads. Now I can put the little copper bridges. Now when you're doing a pack like this, it's very important that you make sure that you don't uh, short out the battery. So when you flip it over, sometimes it's not clear which, which two batteries you have to bridge. Um, so one way to make sure that uh, you're not going to cause a, a short is to put a voltmeter. So here you have, I have zero volts, so these can be bridged. If I put this one over here, now I have 7.7 volts, so those are bridged on the other side. So if I were to put a bridge over here, it's an instant short and sparks and melting of uh, the leads. So now I know that I have to bridge these two, these two, these two. But depending on your configuration, sometimes like it be, uh, can be difficult to uh, to make sure which one are your, you need to do. Um, I didn't explain where I get these resistors, I think. This is um, what I ordered last time. So it was a pack of a thousand. The, um, the problem with these is that the, the leads on them are a little shorter. So I had to see if I can show this. I had to bring the tin a little bit closer to the edge of it, otherwise it wouldn't reach to the other cell. Um, I had already pre-tinned these before I actually received those resistors in the mail. What I used to buy, what I had bought previously was these things. These are the tabs are a little longer, but they're wrapped. They're, yeah, you have to take them apart from the, the cardboard, not a big deal. Um, so this is what I used to buy for 500 pieces. And this is what I bought last time, so a thousand pieces. It's a little bit cheaper per unit, not a big deal. So I'm not sure if I'll continue using these or these. At first I said uh, no because they were shorter, but once now that I know that they're shorter, if I just put the tin closer to the edge of the battery, it seems to work fine. 